Welcome to Talking Point with Stephen Taylor. It's good to have you along. And uh, today I'm joined by somebody who has kind of similar, the similar name as me, Stuart Taylor. <laughs> yes, yes. We often, you, we often get mistaken for each other. I know we do. I've often collected uh, tickets, uh, hospitality so tickets. So have I. And then they're like, this is yours. I'm like, no, that's Stephen Taylor. The other I, one. I also have one. collected tickets. So it's like, <laughs> we get things and I've, I've sponsored stuff. So it's like, man. Now they know who <laughs> we are. Now they my, know who we are. Sponsored <laughs> are <making> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> ah, Damn, that they might even, I don't know. I could, have, I could have applied for this show under your name. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a <laughs> awkward. Why did I get you on? Awkward. <laughs> so how's it going, man? I'm How good, man. Sure? I'm excellent. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me on your show. So tell me about you and your career. Of course, apparently you're a comedian. You're supposed I, to be I funny, am. Right? I, I, I tell jokes. I travel yeah. the world. I tell jokes. It's it's great. I mean, it's it's been amazing. I've I've been in the business for for a good couple of years. Started uh, around about 1999. Uh, been traveling. It seems quite recent right it does and then you realize it's like 17 years ago yeah i know uh, 1999 yeah that was a little okay, so i'm making myself feel old now okay, anyway yeah. so yeah i mean uh, i started very much fresh out of varsity uh, uh got into got into the comedy uh through some some very well-known comics uh in yeah. cape town there was a cool bustling circuit in Cape Town, and after about two or three years, they started being cross pollination between Joburg uh, Comics and, and and Cape Town Comics, and then a bit of a circuit in Durban as well. And then that was followed by one man shows, and then yeah. ensemble shows outside of SA. And it's it's been it's been a roller coaster. It's been a great a great ride. And so, and does somebody study to, to be a produce. comedian, or how does it work? Uh, not uh, you. Guys, I suppose you could study drama. That's yeah. a that's a useful thing did to you? study. I didn't. No, okay. I studied science. Oh, wow. I'm a zoologist. Yeah. And you've never used it. I've never used it. No, <laughs> no I can. I can honestly say I've never. Doctor Stuart Little. Uh, something like that. Yeah. yeah. No, I've, I've, never, I've never quite. Uh, I've never quite uh, uh, got into zoology and animal physiology, which is my qualification. That's weird, eh? It, it is, but it's. It's. Uh, I heard Seinfeld talk about it once, where he said, "If you want to be a comedian, go and study. Go and study. No, it doesn't matter what you study; just go and study." And his rationale behind that was that uh, it'll teach you discipline. That's right. Tertiary education teaches you discipline. Uh, school will teach you how to read and write, and that's lovely. But tertiary education, no one is standing over you saying you need to work. Mm. And that's ultimately, I think, what any entrepreneur needs to know, any self-employed person, any comedian. You need to hustle, you need to work. So, uh, that's, so how that's old are you now, thing. if I may ask? I'm 39. 39. All right. About okay. to turn uh, the big 4-0. When are you turning 40? Ooh, next year. 27. Okay. Are we having a party? Um, Are we all invited? Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to go to the Karoo. Oh, wow. I think I'm going to hire a massive uh, farm in the Karoo. Okay. And literally say to I, I've got a place in mind. It's about, it's about an hour out of Sears, dirt road, kind of difficult to find. Uh, but I'm going to tell, I'm literally going to tell. No cell phone it. signal, right? No cell phone signal. <laughs> Camping. Uh, well, the, the place I'm thinking about has got some really cool uh, little. Uh, okay. little um, chalet-ish type of things, the one's a massive fort. Oh, like it. Yeah, it's, it's a place I used to hang out back in the day. And uh, but you'll see 10 million stars and it's in February, so you literally can just drag a mattress That's outside. Valentine's and, month, come on. It man. is, so I'm going to probably send out like a, <laughs> yeah. like a I'll, I'll put in a newspaper and I'll put out a <laughs> Facebook message, yo, do you know me? It's come my birthday, out, yeah. come hang out. I'll get and uh, maybe DJ another baby. Baby. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> You are a dad, right? I am, yeah. I've got two little boys, uh, okay. very cool, uh, six years old and uh, eight years old. Wow. So, uh, There's comedy that, that, on that its own, right? Me. That is comedy on its own. <laughs> that keeps you First, I needed, I needed material, so I got married. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, cool, now I need some more material. I had some kids. Whew. That's going to keep me busy until... I've got like a, a good ten more years of stories yeah. coming out. So tell me about some of the shows that you've been involved in. I know that uh, you've had your own one-man shows, which have yeah, been very successful. Yeah, I've, I've, I think I've done about nine one-man shows now. Wow. Uh, Probably some the, of the titles are interesting. Yeah, yeah, some of the better known ones. I did a show called Technical, which is yes. probably the, it was the first show I worked with the director named Heinrich Reisenhofer. Yes. Very well known uh, yes. theatre director. That, that kind of really was, was kind of, I always said it was the story of me finding my voice as a comic. It was great. I got to tour that, that show around the country for about uh, three years. Wow. And we really, I mean, we, we, we did phenomenal business in, in Job again in Cape Town. We, would, we were running for weeks on end at the Market Theatre. And we did three very successful runs in Cape Town. So it was, it was very, a very cool show. Mm. And at the end of it, I did, uh, the babies did come. And so I thought, oh, hey, I'm going to write a show about being a dad. 
and I sat with my scientist and he, he looked at the material I was writing, he's like, well, this is not about your, your, your kids, about your wife. Yeah. And that we, then we wrote a show called Learn a Husband. Uh, so tell me about that, man, because I need some tips, because I, <laughs> I like this girl, right? Like yes, a lot. Yes. So I'm considering maybe getting married on the top of Table Mountain. I hear that that's a good nice. spot, because that's unique, you know? It is unique. You have to do unique things. Yeah. But I think you're setting the goal. You're the bar too high. Why? Right? Life is long, bro. Then next year, she's going to want to uh, for the anniversary in Mars. <laughs> Start low. So how Start should low. I propose? Set how should bar. I propose Set the to bar her? low, bro. How should I propose to Set her? Set the bar low. Ah. Write it on a PS chocolate. <laughs> no. Knock on the door. Just say, chuck it in. <laughs> Joanna, Bilze, Bilze. Just yeah. set the bar low. Really? It's a long life. Yes, it's a long how did life. You, how did you propose? Uh, on the top of a mountain. So now, Don't lie. <laughs> Are you lying? I'm serious. That was a, it's a very good decision. Really? You have to go to the top of a mountain. Okay. You have to well, I'm not far off then, eh? Yeah. And then the problem is, as I say, now I better maintain. I you know what somebody said to me? I said, I want to get married <laughs> on the top of Table Mountain. So they said to me, you know that there's big spiders on there. I'm like, but how, what does that got to do with anything? Yeah, nothing. You know? Do they eat wedding dresses? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they are going to eat as well. my wife? What? Yeah, I don't know. It's bizarre. <laughs> um, no, it's, uh, you, know, you know what? It's, um, don't spend too much on the wedding. Oh, yes. That's what I was the honeymoon's going to, then you're going to be a fl- caravan honeymoon, eh? <laughs> yeah. No, it's just, you know what? If I think about my wedding, some of my very best friends were at my wedding and some people that I've never ever seen again. Right. Oh wow! Wedding. It's it's Why? that's the nature of it because it's family. It just okay. becomes such a big event. It becomes so out of control. Yeah. You just think, at the end of the day, you end up doing it for other people. It's a very stressful day. Um, you know what? To keep it keep it small. Keep it easy. But that's it. Actually, let me not say don't spend a lot on your wedding. Keep it Please be smart. <laughs> Hey, fly to Mauritius and and, and uh, with, with with your closest peeps and then do it. There. I want to ask you when you come when we come back where you went on your honeymoon. Oh. Uh, it's talking point with Stephen Taylor. We are hanging out with Stuart Taylor, who could be my twin. You never know. I don't know. Right? It's possible. Eh? No beard. Yeah. Like <laughs> All right, we'll be back next. Welcome back to Talking Point with Stephen Taylor and Stuart Taylor. What's up, brother? I'm cool. How are you? You should host my show one day. Confuse uh, one people, day, eh? one day. <laughs> That'll be like, what? Did he change? I don't know. It looks be the a same guy. different. Yeah. He looks a little, he's, yeah, he's back from his, back from his island adventures. What kind of look are you tag. going for? Is that for your wife? This it's look. Like, we'll spice up the relationship. I don't know what look I'm going for. Thanks for asking that question. You know what it is? I'm going up here. <laughs> I'm growing up here. You know November's Why? only in November, right? It is. It is. No, I started in Jan. I started right. in Jan. With this wow, year. is that how long it takes? Yeah, it's Jeez. taken uh, many months to get here. <laughs> and the idea was I was going to shave it when I turned 40. I had okay. a thought I was going to shave it. And because I've never had a beard before. Buy razor blades. If you're yeah. back my 40, that's expensive. That's an expensive thing. <laughs> uh, and it's, uh, it's probably the last chance I'll get to have a beard without gray hair. All oh, right. Yeah. Is that, oh, that's a that's good thinking, right? Yes. Yeah, so okay, I, I have, have seven like, years to go, so yeah, I'm yeah, okay. So it's like okay, cool. Okay, I've, um, no no gray yet because you can you can I mean, if you want to, you can be one of those dudes who dye your hair. That's fine. But uh, Did if you, you not, not, I know I don't. Okay. <laughs> grow a whole gracefully. <laughs> what happens happens. But uh, but the beard you can't you can't hide it. I yeah. Mean, and you do look old if you've got a gray beard. I mean, some some dudes look, look old. Some good, good gray is the new. Gray, know, gray is the new. Gray? Yeah, whatever. Fifty shades of gray. Come yeah, on, come on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so tell me about where did you go on your honeymoon? On my honeymoon. Yeah. Um, I need uh, some tips here, brother. Come uh, on. You want tips? Yeah. I can tell you some really cool places. I could. I, I mean, my my list was. We <laughs> just we, we went up the south coast. We went really? up the coast. Yeah. Okay. Just, wasn't much of anything. Yeah, you got to understand. I mean, it was it was. Uh, Tough time. We was, yeah, we were like in our twenties, you know. Okay. I mean, just like yeah. And also, we just bought a house. That was our big thing. Oh. So we bought a house. And we tried to find. We lived in a, in a in a very empty house. We lived in a house with a bed and a fridge. Wow. Like the first the first wow. uh, couple of months because we. But were, that brings you together, right? It does. Yeah, it's like yo, babes. We just, we only got this bed. We got to chill out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we we our, our philosophy is always kind of be don't clutter the place. Just buy what you want. So rather. That's the dining room table we want. Okay, well, we're going to have to save for that dining yeah. room. And so you just kind of rather buy what you want as opposed to just buying for the sake so of So I buying. know that you did a show on um, kind of like your own game show, putting oh, the bills. Oh, like, I, did a show called? Called, I did a show called Money Today to Mention, which was go. actually a DVD, yeah. uh, which was a lot of fun. It's about... about you uh, put all your bills in the... Yes, yeah. it was about surviving being broke. So that was true? 
Yeah, it was going to be broken. <laughs> everyone's going to be broken. We've so all been broken. Yeah. <laughs> so that was, that was a lovely, that was, that was a cool show. Now tell me about how you put the bills in like a thing oh. and then you draw, draw out one. Oh, it was, uh, it was my, uh, I say, to play a, play a game show at the, a game show with my yeah. family called Whose Bill Is It yeah. Anyway? Where every month we have uh, all our bills we put in the bowl and <laughs> draw out one lucky winner and they pay them, pay them 300 rand. <laughs> and the idea being that if uh, when, when the very arrogant yeah. people call you, yeah. you, you get those calls, You get right? the call, oh, Mr. Taylor, when can we expect payment? I'd be like, with that attitude, with that attitude, your name's not even getting into the yeah. ball. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, it, uh, it's, it's just money. I've got no that. I sent all my bills to you. So oh, do you? Is, is that, getting is those that phone calls, is, eh? that, is that what it's about? <laughs> no, ah. it's not yet, Stuart. What do you mean? <laughs> my wife just pays them. She hasn't even spent anything. Surely not. Double check. So tell me about what's next. Uh, we, we're going to talk about Big Five a bit later on. But mm. tell me about what's next for in terms of one man shows. Are you going to be doing any? Um, I've, well, I've, I wrote a show called Bespoke, which is which is I love performing and I perform it from time to time. It's just uh, I did James Town. Yeah, it's uh, it's not the best name for a no. show. <laughs> but if you come and watch the show, you'll understand what it's about. It's a really great show. It won the award for the Ovation Award for Comedy at the Arts oh, Festival. Wow. It's, and it's about identity. It's about it's about where you are in this world and your identity and how you fit in and so on. And so it's, it deals with very very deep issues in a very very funny way. And you do all the festivals, right? I do. I do plenty of the festivals, but my my, my focus has kind of shifted a little bit. Uh, the one man stuff I'm, I'm, I have lots of fun with, uh, but um, it's not necessarily yeah. where where there's an ideal focus at the moment. I've been producing lots of stuff. Yeah. I've been producing some web series uh, and oh, directing nice. some web stuff and writing some web stuff. So that's that's. I, that feels like like my career is in a. I just have many irons and many fires, and it's it's been great. It's been amazing. You enjoy it still? Do yes, you, yes. Do you ever much. get those days where you wake up and you go, "Not today"? Uh, in terms of no, because you're telling different stories, and I, okay. I find I find different ways of telling different sto- telling telling our stories. That's that's the point. Is that sometimes it happens in a one man show space, but sometimes you tell it on screen. Sometimes you're writing it, so it's uh, it's it's cool. Have you, you done keep it fresh or for anything it. like that? Yeah, yeah. I've got a movie which uh, which releases later on, uh, actually early early next year, called Finders Keepers, oh. uh, which is going to be a great action comedy where I play a very bad bad guy. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, makes no, sense. No beard right? yet. No beard yet <laughs> in that. In that, but it's it's cool. I play I play like a really dysfunctional a gangster with a dysfunctional gang. A South African film. A, a very very awesome local movie. So, so what uh, is the plot? What is it about? Um, it's a very convoluted plot. It's basically about a um, it's about a, a young guy played by Dalen Oliver. Oh, Dalen, yeah. Okay. He finds something which he shouldn't have found. He finds a watch box with a watch in it, oh, wow. false bottom with a bunch of diamonds. Oh wow! And uh, it's my box, but it's the Russian gangster's diamonds. Oh wow! And he basically gets caught in the middle of this gang war between us, but it's completely dysfunctional. So it's, shot in Cape Town. It's completely shot in Cape Town. It's about a, <laughs> about a bunch of really dysfunctional, dysfunctional gangsters, and this poor guy is just trying to. And you've been right, right? I, I completely <laughs> forgot. <laughs> completely <laughs> forgot. Who who made the movie? Uh, it's it? a Maynard Clark uh, movie, uh, West uh, West Five Films, okay. uh, and really really amazing. Uh, I think has some support from the DTI and nice, amazing man. amazing story. Like I've. I've I, I was I was hooked from from the first page of that screenplay. A brilliant, brilliant. The first story. thing that you've ever done like that. Ah uh, yeah yeah. So it's, was it was it? Would it you was, do it again? It was, would you do it? It was more? amazing. It was probably one of the most rewarding experiences I've. I've How long did it take to film? Um, I was uh, the whole movie took about a month and a half to film. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, amazing effects. Really cool 3D. This this uh. The, the fish, there's a fish that's a main character. In the that's thing. not you. That's all animation. I uh, could see you as a fish, right? That you could. <laughs> no, the fish got, got a lot more money than me. I think I, like a third of the budget of the movie oh, really? went to the fish. Yeah, it was Finding like, Nemo and Cape Town style. Yeah, full on Hollywood <laughs> fish, this thing that is alive. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's cool, funny, twisted plot about yeah. uh, mistaken identity and, and, and all those good things. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll be back with more with uh, Stuart Taylor. It is Talking Point with Stephen Taylor, which is very confusing. Stuart Taylor, Stephen Taylor, I don't know. Anyway, we'll be back next.
Welcome back to Talking Point with Stephen Taylor and Stuart Taylor because he's hijacked my show. I which have. Which is really cool, man. I, I love have. it. You know, Thank we should you. do this more. We must. We, we should just... put you here next time, then you can interview me. I've... I think we're going to do that. Okay, cool. Is that a cool. deal? That's a deal. Okay, <laughs> lucky. <laughs> so, all right, we're chatting about your movie. When is it coming out, your movie? Um, we wait for exact uh, release dates, but it should be early next. I, in fact, it's possibly, it could possibly be around about December of this year. Oh, wow. We're just waiting for final. I hope I get invited to the premiere. I'm, I'm sure you will. I, yeah. I think we're going to invite everyone. We, okay. We're first going to invite everyone to the trailer. And then yeah. <laughs> No, it's it's, yeah. uh, it's there, there was there were one or two issues. In fact, I'm talking about the, this 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 fish that that was the thing that took the longest time oh, really? to finish, and then there were, were some soundtrack things that needed to be finished. Okay. But I'm I uh, have it on good authority that it's finally done. It's in the can and it's ready and waiting release dates. So you know that having people, having children, I know that I've got a, a nephew, mm -hmm. and I know that the other day I saw you hanging out at Dora. We went to go watch oh, Dora. Oh yes, you can't go and do that. <laughs> Dora the Explorer. <laughs> My, my son said wow, went to go and do the meet and greet <laughs> yeah, with did. Dora. Mm, <laughs> did that you get a pick cool. with Dora? I didn't. I, I was, didn't. I was starstruck, man. I was like, this is Dora. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was very cool. Uh, you know what? I, I love that. I love that about about uh, yeah. the fact that the space that 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 we we have lots of producers bringing over over awesome things. I mean, that yeah. is the Blue Blood guys. Scooby Osmond, was here. Osmond, Osmond Scooby was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's cool. Yeah. I mean, we never had access to those no. kind of things uh, growing up. So it's, I, I I love yeah. taking my voice and so that they can. I like how they things. make it like they mix it up with adult and yeah. we can pick up some of the humor. Yeah, of the children yeah, yeah, like, no, yeah. They, 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 yeah. They're very good. They're very but good. I like how they do subtle. Yes, that's good. Yeah. So tell me about. Big five. Okay, uh, so I've got a brand new comedy property. I like to call it comedy property oh, wow. called the Big Five Comedy Show. <laughs> the idea was, uh, Essay used to have amazing ensemble shows. We still have, we still have great ensemble comedy comedy shows, but one or two of them were iconic simply because they used the best of the best in, yes. those, in those things. That's what Trevor Noah started on. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and so just kind of thinking about, well, if, if I was to come up with a, with an idea of an ensemble comedy show, uh, how do you, how do we, gather together the best of the best, how, number one. Number two, how do you then uh, maybe take that uh, outside of essay? Yeah. And that was, uh, then the name The Big Five kind of popped up, the idea of, well, what if you went region by region, firstly as a South African thing, um, region by region you went, well, who are your best comics? Because it changes, that's the reality of it. Some comics have it national appeal, yeah. but other comics are really big in KZN and no one knows them outside of that really? place. Yeah, I mean, this. so you look at someone like Celeste Ntuli, one of the funniest acts you ever watch on stage. She's massive. She'll sell out a stadium in, 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 in Durban. People in Cape Town have no idea. Well, yeah. you will get to know she's be, she'll be in December. By oh, lucky. Okay. So, but that's the point. So we couldn't use her in an ensemble show. And that's, that's often what happens with the big ensemble shows. Yeah. Is you, they're people who are doing very well all over the country, but they're not necessarily household names all over. But the lineup stay the same. So... This year's a pilot project. I went, listen, I want to find my favorite comics, the best comics I know, and put them on one stage. Yeah. And, and then later on, when we tour with the show in 2017, go, Durban, who's your big five? Joburg, I've assembled your big oh, five. Oh, so you're going to change it up. Yeah, and okay. it'll, it'll literally be, become Stuart Taylor presents the big five and go, here's your five. But for this year's the pilot project, uh, the big five, we're just calling it the big five comedy show as opposed to Stuart Taylor presents the big five. Um, and we've gone with Riyad Musa. Big. Awesome. Massive, Kachis uh, Oledicha, <laughs> probably one of the most prolific writers of, 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 of comedy. Yeah. Um, Nick Rabinowitz, massive, and then our headliner is Barry Hilton. He's a so, legend, man. A complete legend. So that was our thing, and, and, and what I like about the lineup is it's so diverse. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are, you're gonna find someone who appeals you to you. You have to laugh. Exactly. All of these guys have got massive fan bases. They all started out in Cape Town with their comedy careers. They did. And so that was that was kind of part of our thing of well, let's let's take it back to who started in Cape mm. Town and put that put that lineup together. So it's it's a very cool lineup, very, very strong lineup. At Only Artscape. At yeah. Artscape at the Opera House. So a massive venue. Wow. Uh thousand five hundred seats and it's it's gonna be but it's gonna it's gonna bring back sort of the, the, the sexiness that those old school comedy festivals used to have. Have, oh, wow. Which I so it's I mean you're talking <laughs> about DJ Ready D on the decks Come on stage. On, dude, really? You've got amazing. I mean, our imagine lighting. Barry Hilton getting down to. <laughs> Barry's gonna get down to Ready D. It's gonna be incredible. And it's uh, you, yeah, so amazing, amazing lighting, amazing sound, just beautiful sets. And so things. fifth and sixth of October. Fifth and sixth of October at Artscape tickets at Comp Ticket. It's a, it's gonna sell out. Like the yes. tickets. We, we are a couple of days away from it now. The ticket sales are really, really starting to move. Cape Townians wait until very late. Yeah, they, we do. It's going to be the <laughs> kind of show. 
don't wait until show day because you're not going to get tickets on show day. Don't bother about that. But if you if you do uh, watch this interview right now, go to Comedy get tickets. tickets. Check it out. Yeah. Big Five Comedy Show. And if you're lucky to get seats, uh, I'd love to see you there. Tell us that lineup again. So you've got Barry Hilton, you've got Riyad Musa, you've got Nick Rabinowitz, you've got Kachis and I'll be the host. It's going to be wow. amazing. Oh, so you're the host, MC? So I, yeah, I'm, I'm the MC okay. on the thing. Because so. I was going to ask you, can, I, can you not get in there? As an MC? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. Maybe so next that's, time, what you know? that's what I do. <laughs> no, I'm joking, man. Stuart, uh, so where can people find you online? Where are you online? Yeah, uh, Facebook is always a good one. Uh, find my page, Stuart Taylor, or on Twitter, at the Stuart Taylor. I'm terrible at Instagram and Snapchat and <laughs> I'm those also, things. Yeah, I'm, I try. <laughs> Occasionally, you'll see an Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I have 30 followers on Instagram. Well, Come on, man. But generally, uh, Twitter's, a, Twitter's a good one. Yeah. Facebook's, uh, Facebook's another good one. Uh, yeah. Do you have your own website? I do. StuartTaylor.coza is where you can yeah, really I don't even have my own website. Uh, They're like, no, Stuart already took yours. I'm like, yes. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, after Big Five, of course. Uh, um, yeah, then I've got a, I've got a really cool web series. Well, I got the web series which uh, which starts debuting on the first of October. Uh, you can find that on a on a website called change www.changeexchange.co.za. The web series is called Play the Bounce, and okay. it's, uh, it's I wrote I conceptualized it, and then I wrote a lot of it with people like Yasin Barnes. Um, Tracy Class was one of the writers. Uh, oh, Tracy, yeah. yeah uh, Sean Wilson. And uh, it's acted in by a ton of Cape Town comics. We literally just put a ton of Cape Town comics on, uh, on this thing. And this is my first, my first, uh, my debut into directing uh, on camera. So I got to direct a, a live uh, sort of studio thing yeah. as well as these sketches. And it's, it's very cool. I'm very, very proud of how it turned out. We've got eight episodes to start off with. We're going to kind of drop them week by week during the Curry Cup because it's got a bit of a rugby thing to it. <laughs> yeah. uh, so during the last couple of day, uh, games of the Curry Cup, we're going we're gonna to upload those. So Lovely. from the 1st of October, you can check out changeexchange.co.za. And there's a whole bunch of things that lives on the Change Exchange. But my web series is called Play the Bounce. We'll check it out. Cool. Stuart Taylor, thank you, brother. Thank you for coming in. Thank, thank you very much for having me. Thanks for, and I'll see you at, uh, at the Big Five I'll show. I'll be there. And make sure you go and check out those Play the Bounce videos. I will do that. Cool. Uh, Stuart Taylor, thank you for coming in. Of course, another episode of Talking Point with Stephen Taylor. And of course, you can find me on social media at Stephen Taylor SA. And of course, go check out the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Talking Point. I had to think about that one for a second. Anyway, have a good one. Take care. Thanks, Bjorn and the team. God bless. Bye-bye.